Hey everybody, yesterday I did some uh, some hiking up in the chimneys area. Of course, here's Table Rock from one of the chimneys, little areas you step off. And I'm getting ready to show you a piece of the chimneys here. I took some gear with me, lugged some heavy gear up there because I never had shot really good video up there before, I always handheld things. And so this time I took a really nice, uh, some high def cam quarters, a really nice fluid head tripod. And I also took my pole cam, which you're getting ready to see right here in just a second. And this allowed me to get some really unique shots that I've never been able to get before. Thing about it is I'd like to do a documentary about the chimneys area and this part of the trail. And uh, I really just don't know what some of the formations are called that I've shot here. So if anybody watches this video, I'm going to do several parts of it, maybe five or six parts. And, and you don't mind helping me out a little bit, you people who are rock climbers and who have been a lot, spent a lot of time in the gorge, if you know the names of the formations, the rocks, if you know the geology of it, the uh, flora and fauna, and you want to tell me a little bit about what we're seeing here, uh, please do tell me the minute and second and maybe the name of some of the things that I'm seeing on the video and, and put comments in the video. So anyway, here's how I did it and here's the gear I took. I'm using Canon HFS 200 cameras, what I'm using there. Uh, as I'm shooting this, I'm also going to use this smaller Canon camera called an HFM30. And this is very lightweight and I can put a you know, very lightweight battery on it. I've got this golf stick and this is some, maybe it's an ID you might try. I kind of came up with this. Maybe somebody else has done it. I do not know. But what I do, I take a small tripod, I screw it to the bottom of this, and I force it down through this hole and then expand the bottom of the tripod. And I can swing this, this, this uh, camera out. I can telescope this thing up to about probably, gosh, 11, 12 feet. And so some of the shots you're gonna to see today, I'm gonna to be panning around with this. It makes some really cool and usual uh, video. So using Canon stuff, I'm also shooting some pictures today with my Nikon D5100. I'll post some of those pictures as well, maybe on my Smoke Mug account. So that's the kind of gear I'm using. Oh, I'm also using today a really nice fluid head tripod that had to tote up here, pretty heavy thing. It's a Davis and Sanford uh, fluid head tripod and maybe I'll put links to it in the uh, description of this video so you can see what I'm doing with that too. Makes for some really nice smooth video. I've been up here before, always been shaky video, poor tripods I've brought. Today I thought it would be really good to go the whole way and put uh, use a really nice tripod and try to get to, try to capture some of the beauty up here. Okay, so I start probably with the boring video first, I guess for most people. I'll do the pole cam videos probably in sections two, three, four, five, whatever, but this is Table Rock. And uh, nowhere that I found online is there any really good, slow, close-up panning shots of Table Rock. And of course, I'm on the south end of Table Rock from the first little place that you can turn off of the short off trail. There are actually two places on the left, uh, probably not even a quarter mile up the trail, maybe a little farther than that. Uh, so what you do, you go to the Table Rock parking lot, which is a nice paved parking lot, and then you uh, start walking south through the kind of camp, the uh, picnic and campground area there. Uh, you go away from Table Rock and you'll go up the short off trail. It's not a very hard trail to hike. It's, it's actually pretty easy. You know, a few little places you have to climb, but not really that much. And this place I'm shooting here is probably, you know, it'll be the first place that tempts you off of that trail. And you'll think, wow, what a beautiful place. Of course, it just gets better as you go. You see these old trees and things here. Um, I, again, my brother was a forestry major. I've worked with geologists in the past. I don't know a whole lot about these rock formations, what kind of trees and things are up there. It's one of the things that sort of fascinates me about the area. I actually grew up in Mitchell County, which is on the other side of the gorge, a place called Little Switzerland. And I'm sort of more of an expert, I guess, in everything that's over on that side, not everything that's over here on the west, or excuse me, the east, the east side of the gorge. So I am south of Table Rock, and this is early morning. This was probably about 7.30 or 7.45, so we're getting just very early morning sun. It was very overcast. And I wanted to zoom in on these outcroppings here, uh, maybe even for just people that really like geology, and, um, and maybe they'd like to study this. I was thinking maybe by taking this fluid head tripod and a very nice high def cam quarter up there, they could get some stuff that might actually be good for even science if people wanted to study. Uh, Table Rock. Uh, Table Rock to me is just awesome. I grew up sort of in a shadow of it. When you live in Mitchell County, Spruce Pine, Little Switzerland, almost every day you're seeing Table Rock from some angle. And it's amazing how many people from Mitchell County never actually go over there and see it or climb it. So I've probably climbed Table Rock about four or five times now. And when you come up, you come up on the back side. This place, this is the formation over on the right over here. It looks like a man's face. You see that, the nose and all. I'll zoom in more on that in just a minute. 
but uh, uh, you, when you grew up in Mitchell County, you see it all the time. Very few people do get up there. But when you come up the back side uh, of Table Rock on the trail, it's about a one mile trail from the parking lot. You come up on the, uh, the other end of this. This is the south end we're looking at straight on. You actually come up on the north end. It's a, it's a trail that twists back and forth, lots of little uh, switchbacks on it. But, and it's, and it's, it's a challenging trail. There's that face again. Does that not look like an old man? Interesting to me, a nose and a chin, and you see that? So maybe that uh, formation has a name, I do not know. And you see here, I'm not doing such a great job with the tripod, I'm zoomed all the way in, but that's much better than any handheld shot that I've been able to get in the past. So those of you who like to study geology, um, those of you who really want to know how Table Rock is formed and what it really is, and, and the plants and things up there, I did these slow panning shots just so you could, could get a good look at that. I was also hoping I could see some, uh, some rock climbers up there. I get plenty of rock climbers later in the chimney, so if you can watch some of the later chapters of this, uh, I'm gonna stop this after probably the Table Rock section here. Um, I do go up a little bit later on and, uh, and see some really great views of rock climbers up on the chimneys. If you've never been to Table Rock, the road up there is really not too bad a road. Uh, it's long and it's kind of dusty. Uh, you, you're going to drive from Ginger Cake Mountain off of Highway 181 and you're going to go there. The last probably mile, mile and a quarter of it is paved road. It's one of those places that just kind of, you, you, you go there and you're convinced they can build a road anywhere when you figure out they can build a road actually to Table Rock. Now here I've switched to the other area. This is the second place, which is probably only 60 or 80 feet past the place I was just shooting. And that's part of the I guess the Catawba Valley down below Jonas Ridge and all that. It might be Brown Mountain off in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and of course, I'm just panning back over. This is actually a lot better view. You can see the uh, the uh, beautiful fall foliage and all that. So I zoom in even more closely here in a minute on Table Rock from this area. I think this is preview. The outcropping over to the left of Table Rock, the one that's in the you know the sort of the foreground, uh, just behind Table Rock is uh, Little Table Rock, it's called. I never even realized growing up in, in Mitchell County that there was a Little Table Rock. When you're looking at it from Wiseman's view, you know there's a formation there, but you don't really know what it is. I'm adjusting my tripod there, it's a little bit of shake. So now I'll zoom back in. And this Davison Sanford tripod really is very uh, stout and it allows you some very smooth moves. Um, so hopefully you know, you're enjoying the way that that video looks and it's good and clear shooting with a Canon HFS 200 which uh, I highly recommend it's sort of a little prosumer uh, camcorder probably spent about eight nine hundred bucks on it I've got six or seven of them I used to shoot concerts and things and it does a really great job a lot of nice clarity and detail there so once again if you see some things and you're a, um, a person who's a, a student of table rock, of botany, of geology, of rock climbing. You see some crevices or some uh, formations and you know what they're called. I'm no expert on this. I would love to get your input and you can tell me you know, what I'm seeing. Uh, I could make a little documentary out of this, use your notes, give you credit for um, you know what you've been able to share with me. We're looking at the parts of Little Table Rock. I know there's a, there's a big campground site up on top of that, and I thought I might get some people. It's hard to tell from my viewfinder what I was seeing. And, uh, but that is the Little Table Rock. Now, it's easily accessible from a trail. You can, there's a little trail as you go up Table Rock. You go maybe, I don't know, a quarter mile or so up the Table Rock Trail, and you'll see that it bears off to the left naturally. And you can get out and, and, and go out there and it's beautiful. It's awesome to see Table Rock back from a little Table Rock. So once again, I'm opening back up to the valley and uh, absolutely gorgeous. This was October 27th, 2012. So once again, I invite you, if you want to make a commentary, tell me what I'm seeing at any particular point in this video. Just tell me the minute and second and say, hey, that's uh, formation ABC at uh, five minutes and 22 seconds, etc.